I wanted to go back to something that you mentioned about Buffett not being afraid to go back into a position or buy quote unquote late. I think Apple is the best example of this, right? He was tech averse his entire career. Uh, he never invested in Microsoft, even though he was really good friends with uh, Bill Gates through the late and 90s. Uh, he never invested in Amazon, Google, uh, uh, Facebook. He he ne also didn't really regret not investing in like Amazon or Microsoft because he said he's never understood the business models and he wanted to be in his circle of competence, which him and Charlie Munger like to talk about. The Google one is interesting actually, and it goes back to your insurance point because he looked back and said we missed on Google, and, and the reason we missed, even though it's a technology company, we knew their business model because Geico was spending ten dollars a click to uh, be on the first page of Google search uh, ranking. So he's like, if we're like, that was kind of like, he was one of the biggest customers, right? He's like, yeah. I, this is such a great business model. And he's like, that's one technology company that I actually do regret not investing in because the business model was just so simple. And, um, but back to Apple. Uh, so it doesn't invest in Apple till 2016. Uh, uh, Wexler, Ted Wexler, one of the two uh, portfolio managers he brought in, Todd Combs, Ted Wexler, um, basically, the, he brought an investment case to Buffett that is in Buffett's wheelhouse. Apple has a monopoly. Its monopoly is around the App Store and the uh, uh, its operating system, right? And he's like, okay, I get this. And, uh, and and Apple realistically is a consumer product, and Buffett understands consumer, understands brand. So this all goes back to your original point: is like he's not afraid to go back into something quote unquote late, but it, when he does, he oh, will also do it with a massive cannon. So. I am just yeah. fully convinced that his $32 billion Apple bet in 2016, which is now worth about $150 billion, doesn't even include the dividends, is the greatest like public market tech bet ever, just on a pure dollar scale, right? He made, he's made a, on paper $120 billion on Apple. Only yeah, more than 5% of the company. And this is another thing he realized from, from Charlie Munger, and this was in the 1962 American Express bet. He's willing to go in super big. Like, Amer like a normal hedge fund is going to have like 100 positions and you know try not to have any position more than one percent of the portfolio but american express became like 30 or 40 percent or more of his portfolio at the time like he was taking a big risk and in 1962 american express seemed like on the verge of going out of business because of a, of a scandal that was happening and so he he but he realized the brand would overcome the scandal so he he, he stayed in but when he has high conviction now i mean he says Imagine investing is like you have a, a punch card with 10 potential holes and every time you make an investment you have to click one of the holes. So you only have 10 investments you can make in your life and that's how he sort of views it now and, and why he's willing to bet super huge.